Winning numbers for take five during Eyewitness News at 11. Easy as ABC7. Hey, I brought you breakfast. Um, I think you should... Well, you're up, I guess, but maybe you look a little tired. Hey, I also brought you some homemade soup to make you feel better. But it's not really homemade because I don't cook or anything, so lucky for you I didn't make it, but that doesn't really Slow qualify down. for homemade. Are you always this cheerful in the mornings? I called you last night. Didn't you get your messages? I didn't, I didn't check my, it was a, it was a very strange night. Yeah, I know. The return of Caleb. Oh, whatever name he goes by now. Right. Okay, you know, about that phone call, um, when you check your messages and you hear my voice, don't, don't listen. Just kind of fast forward through it or maybe you should erase it because I probably sounded really frantic and a little nutty and it's best if you don't because I can't expect you to, you know, come saving me from my demons every time, ask you that to do, don't save me. If you me. were scared, why didn't you just come over? Oh, yeah. Um, did, did, did she spend all night here dressed like that? It's a very long, complicated story. Goody. Well, you know, lucky for us, I, I happen to have all the time in the world. I will not let myself be like you. I will not be one of the walking dead. Then you'll just be dead. You okay? Ah. Yeah. Jeff, yeah. I don't believe you. I heard you pacing all night long. Yeah, well, uh, sorry if I disturbed you. You didn't disturb me. I was worried about you. Well, it's not every day the vampire who tries to kill you flies back into town. I'm really scared, too, so at least we're in this together, right? Right. Just like the good old days, right? Are you trying to be sarcastic? Just save it, Libby, okay? Save what, Jack? I'm trying to be nice to you. You know what? It's okay. You don't have to be nice. You don't have to do anything. Hey, come on. Would you please put some clothes on? Is that it? But you think I'm using Caleb coming into town to do what? Trap you into having sex with me? I don't know. You tell me, Livy. It's not like you haven't worked that angle before. So did you find anything? No, not yet. Who was that on the phone earlier? Uh, it was my mother. She called to say that she spent the night with Stephen Clay and she lived to tell about it. No bite marks, no scratches, no nothing. And, Rafe, we still don't have any proof. Yet. No any proof yet. Yeah, but what if there isn't any? I mean, so far, everything that we're, that we're getting here is pointing to him being a rock star, not, not him, the, the vampire, is Caleb. Allison, I can't find any pictures of Stephen Clay, the rock star, anywhere. I'll tell you what I think happened. Caleb found some guy, some poor guy with no family, stole his identity and covered his tracks. I know. So how do we, how do we prove it's Caleb if he hasn't killed anyone? So you're telling me you don't you don't think that Stephen is Caleb? I don't know. I don't know, but this is starting to really scare me. I know. But it's going to be okay. All right? I, I'm ready for him this time. I am. I'm smarter. I'm more prepared. Rafe, nope. Caleb killed you once before. I know. Did you get that? I mean, if you... If you try and fight this battle with him again, honey, you've already lost it once. And I don't want to lose you again. I can't. I can't do that again.
So, Livy shows up at Jack's place, ready to drive a stake through Tessa's heart, and you ride to the rescue. What's up, my dear? Hi. Uh, hi, you again? <sighs> okay. She sure enjoys her uh, food, doesn't she? Yeah, no, she, she does, and uh, it's, it's a good sign. Really? Um, good sign of what? Well, she's feeling better, you know, and she's not as scared anymore. Right. Right. I, I guess I would have been really scared if Livy had shown up like that. Mm. Not to mention the fact they might be identical twins. The, did you finally get the results of the DNA tests? Uh, he, yeah, they were faulty. We've got we to gotta take more tests. You know, you are really not a very good liar. And normally I would find that very attractive in a person, but uh, not this time. Just drop it, would you? Come on. Do, do, drop it? You know what? You're not only a bad liar, you're also just dumb. You know me. I will torture and torment you until you tell me the truth. What is going on? Okay. According to the test results, Tess and Livy are not related, right? Good. That, that's, I mean, I'm glad to have that fact. What, what else is there? There's something else going on. And according to the same test, Tess doesn't have any DNA. What? What is, what? What does that, what does that mean? I, I what it, it's, it doesn't matter, you know, I, What? It, what? What? What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. A, a vampire <laughs> shows up back in town, and, and this look-alike bride of his shows up to it around the same time, and now you're telling me she's not even a human being? How can that not matter? It, it, it doesn't. I, I, I don't believe that's coming out of your mouth. It, it doesn't matter because whoever or whatever she is, maybe she came here to balance the scales against the caliphs of this world. Oh, boy. It does matter. <sighs> what is wrong with you? Has, has Tess blown your ego so much you have lost all sense of reason? Leave her out of this. You were so freaked last night about Caleb, and I comforted you, as any other friend would. Libby, you're not just like any friend. You always have some kind of agenda. OK. Jack, I admit it. I loved you. I love you. I won't lie. It wouldn't break my heart if you wanted me again. But you have hinted me a thousand times over again that you are, you are done with me. So I get it, Jack. OK, I still do have some pride left, you know. Yeah, just so we're clear on that. And if it makes you feel any better, I am using you to help me with Caleb. I mean, is that a good enough agenda for you? No, it completely makes sense. It's all about survival, Jack. Yours and mine. And whether we like it or not, he almost turned both of us into vampires. Yeah, but the difference was, I didn't want it. I'm not so sure about you. And I killed him, didn't I? Yeah, after you basically caused everybody hell. But hey, who knows, Livy? Maybe Caleb will forgive you. Jack, for forgive me? He wants to kill me after he's done torturing me. And I thought maybe if I had you in my corner, I'd have a better chance of survival. Well, I don't know what's more dangerous. Having Caleb back in my life, or having you. I don't want this to be happening either. I know, but it is. Again. And it never really seems to go away. Reed, when you were sent back to me, I thought that we were going to get to be like a normal couple. And, and everything's going to be OK. Wait, We're going to be OK, I promise as, you. Just as you say that, I feel like our little dream slipping away, our little house on the hill with that the, the fence and, and the cute mailbox and everything else. You know? I know you. I do. I know you better than anyone. And I can feel the excitement of the hunt running through your veins. But no, that's not everything I am anymore. That's, that, that, that's not everything that I feel. I, you, you, you've changed me forever. I have you to live for now. And I, I'm not going to let anybody or anything take that away from me. You know what I forgot? What? To tell you how much I love you. No, you didn't. You tell me that every day. <sighs> Close your eyes. Huh?
just keep them closed. Tell. Put out your hand. I think this should make it truly official now. Will you, Alison Barrington, do me the incredible honor of being my wife? It's beautiful. And for nighttime sinus relief, try Sudafed Sinus Nighttime. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. I need to see my ring. This is okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. This looks like it was made for me. Watch how sparkles in the light. How did you pay for this? I mean, you would have had to sell your soul. Rape? <laughs> did you? No, it didn't cost Again? me my soul. Just an arm and a leg. Well, I know that vampire slayers don't exactly make the big bucks. I used a small part of an inheritance my mother left me. Oh, your mother. I wish I could have met her. I wonder if she would have liked me. She would have loved you almost as much as I do. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, you could have given me anything out of, you know, from anywhere, a gumball machine, a Cracker Jack box, oh, a piece of string, and I would have loved wow. it. You didn't have to go with this pig. Well, now you tell me. Can you give me that back? No, please? no. Well, I mean, if you no, said anything from a no, it's fine. Come it's here. Right. Come here. <laughs> Give it to me. I swear, this will stay on my finger forever for life. You can't have it ever. <laughs> Maybe look at this ring. I want you to remember this moment. How happy we are. How close. How invincible. This is real, Allison. This is forever. With this ring, I promise that you will always come first in my life. And nothing will ever separate us again. I like her. If it hadn't been for her, I'd be dead by now. I, I, I think it's a little more than like. I think what's happening here is you have feelings. I mean, feeling, feeling, feelings for her. Are you joking? You mean romantic feelings, you mean? Yeah, and no, I am not joking. This is not something to kid about. Why, well, it's funny. It, no, you know what this is? This is a, a pattern you have. You see this waif in distress or this damsel on a hill, and you ride into your mighty world of steeds and knights, and you rescue her. Well, she rescued me, so there goes your theory. How's well, that? How about this theory? You became a doctor so you could save more women. She saved me. I just said that. How about the Thornheart Rescue Center for Girls? That would go over good. You could put it in your spare room. What are you, woman, what are you talking about? How can you look at this poor little girl and not want to rescue her or save her or help her? <sighs> and how can you do this? How can you not take off the blinders off that big fat head of yours and mitt your gaga over this girl? Shut up. No, what? You know what? I don't blame you. She's a nice, beautiful, sweet, sexy little thing, isn't she? <sighs> the only problem is she's not... Actually, she is a thing. She's not a person. She's not a Lucy, girl. She's not even Back human. off. That's enough. No! Stop it. Don't be mad at her, Ian. I, uh, Not mad at her. She, she would try anybody's patience. Listen to her. But you love her like Jack loves me. I what? Tell her the truth. Tell her you love her like I love Jack. And I, and I miss him. And I want to see him. 
We'll see him in a little while, okay? In a little while. Now. You know what, Livy? <laughs> you just say all the right things, don't you? I mean, when it comes to trying to kill me, put Allison in jail, trying to trick Rafe into marrying Hey, relax, girls. Jack. I'm not gonna jump your bones, okay? Besides, you have your sweet little test to make sure the pain goes away. Or are you just saying that she healed your leg? Those are your moves, Livy. I am standing here practically shaking with fear, and all you think is that I want your precious body? You weren't that hot, Jack. Okay. Fine. You know what? I'm sorry I bothered you and compromised your virtue. You know what? You don't have to worry about me anymore. I can take care of myself. And I know you didn't want me here in the first place, so... I'll leave you to my simple-minded look-alike. Oh, what was that? Stay here, all right? Oh, it was just a uh, tree limb. The storm must have knocked it over. And you won't be needing this. For a moment there. Yeah, thought it was Caleb. I did too. Okay, well, it's. It's not, so I guess I'll just. Livy, I, uh. I'm sorry about what I said. I know. About us. I know, Jack. You, you didn't mean it. And neither did I. And I, I just wanted you to know that you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm never going to forgive myself for blowing it with you. Because I know I did. I'm sorry. Hey. It's just Caleb. He's got us all acting crazy. You are the last. I killed all the others. Give your God my regards. God, I love you. I wish I didn't have to do this. Where did she go? Who? You know, Tess. She probably left because she was uncomfortable with, with you fighting with me like that. We, we both were arguing and, you know, we shouldn't because, I mean, friends, like, we're friends, we shouldn't argue, argue like that. I don't think that's what you meant. I gotta go. I, I, I made, I, I meant to come over and, and find out if you're okay, and then I had to make plane reservations. Did I tell you? I probably forgot to tell you. I gotta go visit my husband, and so I was gonna go make Stop reservations it. to make sure. No, I need to go make reservations to see my husband, so I make sure I get a good seat. I hope you enjoy the soup. Lucy. I almost took my last breath last week. And I think that entitles me to speak my mind. Ian. Don't. No, I... T -t Tess can heal people, but she can also... She has a lot of insight. And last night, she looked into my heart, and she saw a lot of pain. But she also saw hope. She, she just saw two stubborn people who are very no, much alike no, no, trying to make peace. No. She saw something 
That I've been trying to hide from, from you, from me, from myself. I, and she spoke the words that I wanted to say. I love you. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles, Naked Eyes. On the next Port Charles. Now that you've said it, there's no turning back. I don't believe it. Could he really be Stephen Clay? Oh, not get here, Caleb! You hear me? This ends right now! Don't miss Greenlee's Fantasy of Leo and what should have been today on All My Children. Ready for more? Tonight, it's a night of music you won't forget with Enrique Iglesias, Celine Dion, and the Backstreet Boys' Nick Carter. The concert for World Children's Day. Then, the flat-out, fall-down, funniest comedy is on ABC. Ah, yes! With Julia Roberts and Cameron Diaz. Ah! My Best Friend's Wedding. It all starts tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC. Tonight, they survive numbing cold and darkness. No